What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking about five fragrances that are perfect for this time of year. All right, if you've ever seen any of the fragrance stuff I've done on the He Spoke Style website or previously on the channel, you know that I like to say that the final detail of any outfit is the fragrance that you wear. I think you should put the same amount of thought into the fragrance you choose as say, the way you tie your tie or the way you fold your pocket square. Fragrance is like this intangible thing that can be mysterious and intriguing and it has this ability to sort of take you from like this level up to this level. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a holiday party lookbook. We have a New Year's Eve lookbook coming up soon, and I was thinking about some of the fragrances that I would pair with these looks, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Enough talking, let's get right to it. First up is an all-time classic. This is, of course, Ralph Lauren Polo Green. There's so many different polo colognes, blue, red, black, sport, rush, intense, whatever. None of them, in my opinion, even come close to the classic polo green. Just so you know, I'm not a fragrance expert or a fragrance geek. I consider myself more of a fragrance enthusiast. I know what I like and how it makes me feel, but sometimes it's, it's kind of hard for me to place a particular note or aspect of the fragrance, so please bear with me as we go through describing each of these colognes. So with Polo Green, you're definitely getting a hit of pine and fir and leather and tobacco. It's very earthy and woody, and overall just an extremely masculine scent, but not masculine in like overpowering, but just very old school, classic, elegant man. Next is a new one by Tom Ford. This is called Ombre Leather. I have several Tom Ford scents, and smelling this one, I can tell you that uh, it is unmistakably Tom Ford. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that this just smells very, very sexy. That's what I'm talking about. There's like this intangible thing and a distinct feature of many Tom Ford fragrances is that kind of smell. The leather note in this one is extremely prominent. If you had to sort of categorize a fragrance in like a low frequency, mid range and high frequency, this one would slot in uh, as about a mid range, though there are some kind of like higher notes to it as well. This is actually a very powerful fragrance and the sillage or staying power is very strong. If you put this on, it will easily last throughout the day and into the night, so no need to reapply. All right, next is Original Santal by Creed. Now with a name like Original Santal, you would think that you would get an overwhelming note of sandalwood, but the sandalwood in this fragrance is very, very subtle. I'm a big fan of Creed fragrances and this is a really, really good one. And like a lot of Creed fragrances, I'm thinking of Royal Oud in particular, you don't get that overwhelming burst of what you would think, and there are some mildly sweeter notes to it, which I think is, uh, again, is very typical of Creed. On my skin, as it dries down, I get a little bit more of the woodiness. Sillage is decent. This is a very good casual, everyday, no-nonsense fragrance, but it does have that elegance about it that I think uh, you find throughout the Creed line that makes it also very appropriate for some kind of special occasion. All right, this is Nanban by Arquise. This is a super, super special fragrance and one of my absolute all-time favorites. One thing I really love about Arquise as a brand is that they really understand how evocative a fragrance can be and that is reflected in the descriptions of each fragrance in their line. So I'm just gonna read to you the description of Nanban straight from the Arquise website. January 1618, a Japanese galleon, the Pacific Ocean. Following a diplomatic mission to the west, a galleon carrying a delegation of samurai charges through the dark ocean currents. Loaded with a rare and precious cargo, the ship's hull is redolent of sweet-smelling tropical woods, heady Spanish leather, frankincense, fine black pepper, and other exotic ground spices. The intoxicating spirit of a singular, extraordinary voyage of discovery. I mean, <laughs> that is all you need to know about this fragrance. I think just by listening to that, you can already smell it. Nanban is an absolute powerhouse. It is strong. It has amazing projection. It's very unique, you know. You don't smell this very often and you will definitely stand out in a good way if you are wearing it. Lastly, we have here Penhaligon's Sartorial. Perfect name for menswear guys and that is on purpose. 
This fragrance is supposed to evoke the feeling and smells of an old time tailor shop or bespoke atelier. This fragrance is based on a classic fougere. A fougere will have notes of oak moss, tonka bean, and lavender. This is a modern take on that. It does have some woody notes to it, um, a little bit of spice, some musk, very subtle leather. There's sort of like a vanilla-ish scent, but it's very much in the background, not overpowering or cloying. This to me just smells very sophisticated. And, and hey, with a name like Sartorial, I feel like it's a very good match for guys like you and me who like to dress well. All right, I will put links to all of these fragrances down below in the description. Leave your comments below if you know any of these fragrances or have questions about them. Also, if you have any other recommendations, leave those too. Thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.